Hi everybody, I'm Hope with Battery Watering Technologies. This is tip number four in our video vault. I want to welcome all of my new viewers, everybody else, thanks for coming back. Today we're showing you how to install the eye light sensor on an 18 cell 3x6 industrial battery. An installation like this is a job for a qualified technician, so I've asked our experienced technician to demonstrate it. You will need a portable drill with a half inch drill bit and insulated cutters, like these. Also, always wear personal protective equipment as required by your employer when working with batteries to protect yourself from battery acid. Next, wipe down the top of the battery using a soft towel to remove dirt and residue. This is the sensor our technician is going to install. It has three wires. The black wire will be attached to the negative post. The blue wire will be attached to the positive post. And another blue wire has a sensor probe attached. Also included are two self-tapping screws and a rubber grommet. You might want to use a rolling cart to put them on so they do not get lost. The most important part of the installation is to map out exactly where you plan to install the sensor probe. Since you're going to drill a hole in the battery, this will be a permanent placement, so you'll want to be sure you have the best layout planned. So let's take a few minutes to talk about exactly how to determine the proper location. As an experienced technician, you know that an industrial battery provides approximately two volts of DC power per cell. To make this sensor function properly, you need between 8 and 16 volts between the positive and negative leads. To make installation easy, choose the same cell that you will insert the probe in to put the positive lead into. Between the positive and negative lead wires, we need at least 8 volts in the direction of the probe. Let's count 8 volts. 2, 4, 6, 8 volts. This is where you will put the negative lead, which is the black wire. Now that you have determined where the positive and negative wires will be installed, let's do a quick test before drilling the hole, just to be sure we counted the voltage correctly. Temporarily attach the positive, which is the blue wire, to the positive post, and the black wire, the one with the probe attached, to the negative post. The light should turn green, and then should turn red after about 10 seconds. Okay, good. Now remove the valve or vent cap in the cell where you plan to insert the probe. Insert the probe into the vent well and into the electrolyte. The light should turn green after about 10 seconds. Okay, everything looks good. So now you know this will be a good location to install. Now that we have tested our wires and probe location, let's install the sensor. To install the black wire on the negative post, use the portable drill to fasten the terminal. Place the self-tapping screw through the wire terminal. Remove any debris. And put the intercell cover back on. Locate the cell that you have chosen to install the level probe. Using your portable drill on a slow speed, drill a one half inch hole in the cover. The hole should be drilled between the vent opening and the edge of the cell to avoid the cell internals. Do not drill down into the battery plates. Remove any debris, try not to let any of it fall into the cell. Next, you will need to cut the probe to the proper length. To determine the length you need to cut, insert the probe. When you feel the probe hit the moss guard, pull it up about a quarter of an inch. Mark the probe. You can measure the distance that you will need to trim from the bottom of the probe Trim the probe. Install the grommet. 
Then, insert the probe through the hole in the grommet. Next, install the blue wire to the positive side. Using the portable drill, place the self-tapping screw through the wire terminal, remove any debris, and put the intercell cover back on. Finally, you have enough loose wire to put the light in the convenient location that is easy to see. Take into account how the battery will go into the lift truck. You will want to mount the light where you can easily see it. Once you have decided, just use the tie strap to tie it down to the intercell connector. Replace the vent caps, or if you have a watering system, gently push the valves back into the vent well. Secure any wire so they can't be snagged or pulled. Trim the tie straps. The sensor is now fully installed. A few notes on the working mechanism of the sensor. The sensor light is very bright. It lets you know when you need to water the batteries. If the light turns solid red, you need to add water to the batteries. If the light is green, the electrolyte levels are good. The eye light sensor also has a unique feature. If the light blinks red, it's letting you know that the electrolyte level has been below the probe for more than 10 days. And that's all for today, so thanks for watching. See you soon.